And so uh, they didn't want to kick to you on special teams, but you found a way to get the ball anyway. Uh, talk about your play and how you excel today on the field. Uh, if they want to kick it to me. I just made the best of an opportunity in catching the ball and just trying to get it as much as I can get. Uh, you saw some play at uh, tailback and also at quarterback in the Wildcat formation. Mm -hmm. Uh, was that expect, expected coming in today? Yeah, we pl we planned it out the whole week. Uh, we just made a decision to put me back there so I can make some more plays, and that's what I did tonight. Uh, just talk about, I guess, what helped you uh, before today. Uh, talk about the Wildcat formation. What did you see out there to help you excel and get to the touchdown? Uh, I just I just saw my offensive line winning. They, when they win, we score. And and that's what we did on that play. They won. In the coming games, do you expect to see less and less uh, touches from the kickoff, kick return position? Uh, I guess so. Everybody's saying they're scared to kick it to me, so I just wait and see what happens. All right, you guys won 30 to uh, 23 over Lamar. Uh, first win of conference. Talk about the win and how the team feels about it. Uh, it was a real big win. You know, anytime you can win at home is real big. Plus, like against a, a real talented athletic team like that, anytime you can get a win like that, we'll take it. As a defense standpoint, we, we watched a lot of film, and our coaches really put us in a great position to make plays and back up our offense and special teams, and he let us really fly around and make a lot of plays. If you could grade the defense for us today, uh, how would you grade it? Uh, I'm a very hard grader, so I'm going to give it a B because we had, we had a lot of room for improvement. To, um, I wouldn't give us an A just yet. Uh, some of the key players on defense that helped out today uh, yeah. for the win, if you can name a few. Um, well, basically, I want to say the whole D-line because we, we've been working hard. And then the linebacker, it's really hard to pinpoint one person. But, you know, we always have D Derrick Rose making plays, Jamal White, you know what I'm saying, leading us. He's very intense. And our corners, Rico Albert and Ryan Sorrell. And, and they really came with it today. One and one in conference. Uh, next week in Southeastern, uh, you guys did very well against Southeastern last year, beating them. Uh, this year, they leave the conference right now. Uh, and you guys have to go down there and play against them in Hammond. Uh, talk about that game and, and what's it going to take to knock off the undefeated Lions of Southeastern. We, um, we're going to really have to come with it because they're really talented this year and they've been they well, really well coached. We've seen it on film. And, I, and personally, I like going to Hammond by me being 10 minutes away. It's going to be like a big rivalry game for me. And I really think if we, we come with it, put everything together, we can really get the win. first couple games, uh, the offense was questioned about the, the ability to score. But the last couple games, it's proven that the offense can score. Just talk about the offense production today. I mean, the office production was today. The office line did tremendous. I mean, I can't. Those guys come out here and they work probably the hardest out of everybody. So I just got to get all the credit to the old line and the coaches called a great game. You got to get some credit too. You did a great job today running the ball. You had a, a big amount of carries today, and also uh, was a big contribution to the offense. Uh, talk about your play and was it expected to get that big number of carries today? I mean, I just came in and just try to do the best I can just to help my team win. That's all I came in to do. Uh, you guys are now uh, one and one in conference. You got the first win of conference under the belt. What does that do for you guys' confidence? Well, it definitely builds up our conference. I mean, we got a good Southeastern team coming up next week. So, I mean, we just got to stay focused and go with the task at hand. Uh, speaking of Southeastern, uh, they lead the conference right now, uh, undefeated. Uh, what's that going? How is that going to play into the game uh, this Saturday? I mean, it's still, it's still a game. We just got to go out and execute and do what we do best, and I think we can come out with the win.